Well, just as Eddie's getting better, you know, disregarding that, you know, stupid fake diagnosis from straight doctor, Valerie starts to get sick, and, uh, She says, look, Eddie, I got to go to New Delhi. You know, they got some real doctors down there. Eddie puts his foot down. He says, look, Valerie, I'll just diagnose you. You've got hepatitis. I've seen it so many times. The only cure, rest, good food. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Sadly, Eddie must hassle with visas. And visa extension. These are the last contacts with uh, no choice events. Uh, he must uh, endure in his liberated, minimalist lifestyle. And in Kathmandu, visas were really a hassle. Yeah. Well, Eddie, uh, he's begrudgingly given a 21-day extension from the chief of immigration. This rare x-ray. Oh, whoa. Uh, uh, yeah, that's why he got the extension. Uh, usually he'd be saying, we're going tracking to get a visa extension. <sighs> the golden years of Nepal. Fading fast, yeah. Eddie could use a break. Uh, yeah, in down times uh, like these, friends priceless. Uh, so, uh, French Henri and his wife uh, uh, spend precious hang time with Eddie, Kathmandu, and... Uh, when they realize he and Valerie must depart Nepal for India pretty soon, uh, no more visa extensions for them. Well, as a consolation, French Henri, and uh, he offers Eddie and Valerie a free ride to Afghanistan, invites them to stay with him in a more luxurious, uh, what are you, like 10 rupees a day? A dollar a day? Not, not, not two rupees a day? 20 cents a day? Yeah. So I upgrade a little bit, and, um, well, here's the situation. A French Henri uh, owns a used Mercedes van, a mail van, former mail van, and uh, the van and his uh, French friend, uh, Didier, are in Kathmandu right now. And Didier is driving back to Kabul to sell the van. <laughs> and Eddie and Valerie are welcome to you know, hot free ride to Kabul or any town between Kathmandu and there. Uh, sounds great, says Eddie. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> Valerie's kind of husband, still a camp follower all this time. Yeah, he perks up. Can we come too? <laughs> well, there's a bloody catastrophe. Didier's driving out of the Himalayas. He's a tough narrow roads, switchback after switchback, he hits and kills a Nepali boy. It's monsoon time, everything's slick. And uh, yeah, then natives rush to the van, and strike the windshield, poking in long poles into the broken windows of the van, they're trying to kill them. Mm -hmm. Spear them. Well, uh, to avoid being killed uh, by the mob, uh, pedal to the metal. He just slams forward, uh, 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 steps on the gas. Uh, but they're pursued. They get caught. Please catch him. Stop him. Yeah. <sighs> well, uh, in the morning, a compassionate judge uh, doesn't charge them at all. Uh, the judge blames the monsoon weather and the uh, behavior of low caste Nepali people. Well, Didier uh, insists on paying reparations to the parents of the dead boy. Well, oh, on the road again. Whew. I mean, uh, picture this. There's Eddie, Valerie, and Harry. And other freaks uh, traveling to India and Pakistan in the back of the van. And, uh, 
like I said, Harry and Valley, like on paper, they're husband and wife, but they mutually ignore uh, their traditional marriage because they are both deeply smitten. With charismatic Eddie. Who? Oh. And nobody is fucking anybody. You know, that's like, what? Uh, this is an arduous trip. It's like, it takes two weeks. Uh, and uh, finally, India and Pakistan disappear in the rear view mirror. It's going up to Khyber Pass. Huh? God. Uh, higher and higher up that Khyber Pass, huh? That's where all the British got massacred by the Afghanis. <laughs> Europeans never learn. Should have, even right to today. <clears throat> Keep it in the story time. Don't jump into <clears throat> the foolishness about the Russians in America. Uh, oh, they only wasted a few trillion dollars on that. I mean, the Afghan is just, just use it for target practice. They're better than shooting like goats and stuff. Oh, you got some Americans, some Russians. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, well, Eddie, he gets a little nostalgic. I mean, five years previously, he uh, traveled along the Hashish Trail to Kathmandu, as you all clearly remember. And he wanders into medieval, what was called Chicken Street. It's like where all the freaks hung out. And uh, it's 1971. Harry, he's enthusiastic about the kingdom of Afghanistan. They got a king. Uh, and he, he says, Eddie, like a Kabul. Great, man. I mean, what a scene. There's so many freaks here. I mean, every time I, uh, I wander around, somebody's invited me to, to, to stay at their pad and... Uh, some of these freaks have fancy homes and horses. And those mastiff dogs? Uh, Ziggy's got a place uh, to hang out. And, you know, I'll be able to make money uh, dealing drugs here. And uh, look at Get my own You hear that, huh, Eddie? 